Yeah, absolutely. Just three or four questions. Talk us through that interception, Warren. Uh, well, it was a uh, play early in the game. We knew they were going to take a couple shots on the seams. And uh, really just trusting my technique and uh, the, the keys that the coach has been uh, pointing out to us all week. We've been ready for this game. It's been uh, important to us about the, the details. So that was me just going out and executing. What do you think you guys learned about your defense tonight in the goal line stands and it's maybe the best offense in the country and holding them down? What do you think you learned from that? Oh, well, the first thing I know is we have heart. That's, that's the biggest thing that I've seen from this team as we grow throughout the season, that we have heart. We don't give up. We don't give down for, enough, for anything. The, this is the number three team in the nation, and we, we, didn't, we didn't care at all. Honestly, we just went out there and just played our game. We know we, what we're capable of, and just going out there and stepping up and making big plays and big moments. Warren, from watching in the first few weeks, that looks to me like that's an elite group of wide receivers that you guys have chased around. Do you guys agree with that? Absolutely. We're excited for the opportunity to go against some receivers that are some of the best in the nation. So uh, just that challenge this week, we've been stressing it in the DB room. We're going to shut them down. We're going to shut them down and do our part. And everybody did that at the end of the day. Be surprised that coach says turnovers come in bunches. You get a pick, then Jamel gets a pick. Is that kind of what he'd been preaching to you guys and what come? Well, that's been something we've been working on as we go out through the first first couple of games. Uh, we had we didn't have a turnover until this point until this game, so uh, we've been stressing that in practice and just repping it and repping it. And, uh, we, we came up with two. I was real real happy with Jamel, man. We were like a family in the DV room and safety room, so it's it's like you're out there making the play yourself. So it's it's a huge family deal. When you talked about technique and execution, you feel like for the most part it was it was them making plays against what was pretty good coverage, or do you guys feel like you left some opportunities on the table to do that? Well, obviously, we, there's some opportunities that we left out there. But, uh, at the end of the day, they're going to make plays. They're Division One players just like we are. So we just got to minimize the mistakes and make the most of our opportunity. How did y'all fi- What did y'all figure out about slowing down Ole Miss's offense that nobody else has so far? Uh, I can't. I can't tell you all the secrets, man. But I mean, I think the biggest thing is just having heart and just everybody just believing in each other. You see, as this as the season goes on, we're progressing, and uh, we're just looking to grow every game, every practice, every rep that we get. Warren, thank you, man. Appreciate you. Thank you. I, I've got Stephen Weatherly coming.